Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to season 2 of our Automation Framework Development with Selenium C Sharp and Advanced course. So this is the first video course I have released in Udemy on 2016 and from the day I released this course, this is one of the most prominent course I have ever released in Udemy till this year which I released one more course. So it's been more than 20 courses right now, but this course always stood as the first course in terms of the quality of the course and in terms of the number of quality comments which I get from the students. And the reason is being this is the first course in the internet which is talking a lot about Selenium C Sharp framework development, rather other courses which talks on Selenium with Java, Selenium with Python or Perl or Ruby, but this course is the first course which talks a lot more detail on Selenium Automation Framework Development with C Sharp language binding. And I guess that's the reason this framework has been used by more than 40 plus companies right now. And personally, I'm using this framework for one of the companies I'm working for. So this is really a cool framework course because the course automatically upgrades every time there is a new things happening in the Selenium world as well as in the C-sharp world. So this course is always an up-to-date course or maybe an upgradable course every time. We will keep on extending this course a lot and that's the reason this course always stood as one of the most finest choice and Udemy for Business has already adapted this course as a part of their curriculum which means a lot of companies are already using this course for learning and implementing the framework within their companies. So as that said, let's get started with season two of this course. So what is this season two for? Are we going to talk and upgrade our course like any other courses released by Exit Automation in Udemy? Because we have been seeing there are so many season twos being released for Protractor course, Java course, and Appium course. And this is the only course which we have not released season two, but we have released so many upgrades though. But season two is something different and we always try to improve the existing course as much as possible. Well, the answer is yes. We are going to upgrade our year old course with many different topics. Something like upgrading our complete framework to the latest version of Selenium, NUnit and SpecFlow because Selenium, NUnit and SpecFlow has changed a lot from the day we released this course and we upgraded last in before a year or something. And we are going to upgrade them. And then we're going to start working with latest Selenium 3.11.x proposed changes for page factory and page object model. So if you remember, I released a video in YouTube which talks about the breaking change on page factory and page object model in Selenium 3.11. So that's what exactly we're going to talk about. And that's going to be my next video in our course. So that's going to be pretty much exactly the same video that is released in YouTube. And you're going to get this and complement in this particular course as well as the next video. So we're going to add that. So that's our next change. And then we're going to add extended reporting support apart from the Exit Automation reporting system. Because people were asking about this, why not just integrate the extended reporting support to our framework so that they can have a cool, nice HTML report as a part of a bundle within our framework. So we're going to add that. And then we're also going to do a cross-platform support to run our code in Windows 10 and Mac operating system with C-Sharp 7.0 support. So you can see that this is the first ever course once again on the internet which talks about developing and running the same C-Sharp code running in Windows 10 and Mac operating system. Because this is one of the questions which is stood by many students asking why not just run this code in Mac operating system whereas this is completely a Windows 10 relayed framework. So that's why we are going to make use of our .NET Core standard to support the cross-platform with Mac operating system. And once again, if I say .NET Core, so we're not going to really convert our framework to .NET Core 2.1 or something. Rather, we are going to still work with the .NET 4.6 framework, but we are going to change our framework a little bit to enable it to run in Mac operating system. And finally, we're going to do a lot of refactoring of our code to support latest C Sharp 7.0 changes to make our code more industrial standard and easy to read. So apart from just talking about C Sharp framework development, 
most of the time we'll be talking about how to do a refactoring of our code and how to make our code as an industrial standard code that's what this framework course talks a lot and that's exactly what we're going to do in this season two as well so let's quickly start developing everything whatever we have discussed and understand how things work so for that i'm going to flip to visual studio